Hello guys, this is Shaq from Shaq's Hacks and today I'm going to review the D12 by Edifier. The Bluetooth speaker is quite large, I just want to compare it with the JBL Charge 5 so you get an idea. So the drives consist of two four inch woofers and two quarter inch tweeters. There are also two flare ports to extend the low frequency. At the top there are three controls, from the left we've got the bass, treble and the volume button which also works as the input selector. At the back there is the power on and off switch, the line out for your subwoofer or other speakers if you want to, aux in and line in. The speaker is made out of MDF, it feels solid and it makes it a perfect enclosure for music. My speaker comes with a wood effect but you can also get it in black or white. You also get a remote control with it, with the power button, you've got the skip buttons and pause button, volume up and down, there's a movie effect button, music effect button, aux, line in, bluetooth and mute button. And you'll also get the input indicator here so you know which input you're in. So it goes from the line in, RCA or bluetooth. So aux input and RCA are green and Bluetooth is blue. If it's blinking means it needs pairing with your phone or MP3 player. And if it's solid blue, it just means it's ready. So what we're waiting on, let's play some music and let's see how the speaker sounds. So I'm just gonna pair it to my MP3 player. I'm just gonna press and hold the Bluetooth button. Then it starts blinking. Now I'm just gonna go to my Bluetooth list here and then I'm just gonna scan and then at the bottom you'll be able to see Edifier D12 Alright so I'm just gonna go with my first song, let's play it So I'm just going to turn the speaker to an angle so you can see the drives move back and forth. Play it at full volume. Oh my god, I forgot that this thing is very loud. It's 70 watts RMS in a very nice and solid enclosure with some flares ports. So all of this together produced very powerful, crisp sound. Although the Bluetooth speaker was at 100% volume, the sound was still and distorted. The woofer and the tweeters did not struggle. The music was playing so loud, I felt sorry for the neighbors because it's a bit late at night. Okay, I'm just gonna play a different song just so we can see how the speaker reacts to different types and genres of music. Okay, now I'm just gonna play some dance music. I'm gonna put the volume to 50%. I'm gonna put the bass to zero, the trebles to zero, and I will boost the bass and trebles, but I'll let you know. Let's <laughs> go. 
Okay, bass all the way to maximum. Now treble and bass both are at maximum. All right, okay, now I'm just gonna set the bass and treble back to zero. One last genre is classical. So this is the front grill of the speaker with some mesh to it. It clips in like that. So it's up to you whether you want it to look like that or whether you want the speakers to show. All right guys, so I'm just gonna tell you the verdict about the speaker. I was very impressed with how loud it got without distortion. 70 watts of RMS in this enclosure with the flared ports. It was just the right combination to produce such a great sound. So now guys, you tell me, do you own this speaker? Are you planning to buy it? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed so far and I'll see you in another one. Bye.